What's going on everybody? This is Jay Pixel from Gamer Fridge, YouTube, GamerFridge.com, and uh, anywhere you see Gamer Fridge, that's usually me or my son. But uh, today I have something for you. It's been a minute before I, uh, since I put out a video, but uh, been working a lot, and uh, but uh, I was able to pick up a couple of new toys, and I'm going to show you those right now, and what I'm going to do with them, what the potential for this is. So, yeah, so I have right here an iArcade. I just got one of these, and they just went out of business. So, but <clears throat> I ain't mad. I have some really good games on there. I love this cabinet. Probably one of my favorite favorite like looking cabinets I have it's a uh, well built it is heavy um, sticks are good but uh, you know the games big argument about the games half of them suck to be honest but there's some really really good ones you know I'm not mad because it's retro mania I like that we'll get to that in a minute but uh, as you can see you know it has a uh, has some really cool games on it. I'm really um, impressed by even the controls and stuff like that. So that was one of my toys. Another one I got right here. It's an ROG Ally. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's very nice. Very nice. Uh, I've been playing with that quite a bit. Um, if you like to tinker, it's not like plug and play at all. But you can do a lot of stuff with it. As you can see, here's my mess. Got the lab going. But today, I want to show you something um, I've been it's rattling around in my brain. I've been trying to figure it out. But uh, I'm going to show you right here. So this is uh, the stock, uh, you know, stock deck right here. Now, I know there's a lot of uh, talk about getting, uh, like, a Glenn's um, deck to replace this so you can uh, get uh, more games and uh, new controls and whatnot. But uh, I don't think you need to wait for Glenn's deck because uh, right now, as you can see here, I'm going to show you. And look at that right there. So, <laughs> see that? You got a couple of uh, options right there. So that's actually um, running this laptop right here. I have a retro bat image going right there. So that's one thing you could uh, potentially do with it. And then uh, another thing you could do with it. Takes a minute to switch. I got a Wii U hooked up to it right there. So yeah, I got some Splatoon going on. Um, so yeah, it actually looks pretty decent right there. If you look at that, it's a pretty good screen right there. And then uh, last but not least, Let's see here. If I can get it to do it. There we go. And is it gonna see something? And there we go. Alright. Now yeah, yeah, we want a blitz cabinet, a real one. <laughs> here we go. Actually it's just running off of the emulator on the rogue ally. And uh do some so but this is what it looks like over here. Do you see? I didn't even realize Midway made all these uh, other games. I'm gonna have to go find them. Uh, Blitz 2003, probably the last great version of Blitz out there. Midway Sports. I'm gonna have to go and uh, find the rest of those games. But how am I doing this? How in the world did I make my uh, iArcade hook up? I'm gonna show you. This is, seems to be a top secret nobody wants to share, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing right back here. Find the mess. Like I said, I'm in the lab right now working, trying to figure this stuff out. But uh, right, what's doing all of it right here is this card right here. And you get them on Amazon. Now these work with the IRK too, but this, this wire right here actually, let's see if I can get the light here. It's plugging into that. LV, I forget what they call this, but uh, it's that adapter, L something, LV something, can't remember, 
But uh, yeah, I just took that out and put there. But as you could see, I was still running the IRCade deck, and that's what Glenn said he's going to do. You can be able to swap back and forth. Well, the one way you can do that is you can just come out the HDMI and loop right back into this. So I'm looping back, but how am I looping back a multiple? I'll show you. I got the Wii U in there, got the shoved in there with the hard drive and stuff. But right here I got a four-way switcher right here. So going into here and then um, the next step is to pull, I just noticed this, I could pull audio from here and I'm going to have to look and see how the audio speakers, so I could pull speakers at least. Now how all of them being controlled by the same thing is going to be a little harder. But uh, yeah, I'll put a link in the description to the one I bought or one that people say are good. Uh, thanks to uh, like Messiah and uh, a couple of people on Facebook pointed me in the right direction. I realized I already had it. I had already bought one for uh, the um, NBA cam cab that I was working on. That's this bad boy. This four player I built. Um, when we got the retro pie and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this is, um, <laughs> I've been trying to do what I just did, um, with, uh, the NBA cam, but this, uh, this monitor right here seems to, um, work. Now, as you can see, <clears throat> when I switch back to, um, when I switch back to the actual arcade, this is one problem I do run into, is that it, it, uh, crops that to like a 4x3 aspect ratio and I and there's nothing you can really do about it um, except what I um to get it to stop doing it how do you, how do you start this game I don't know continue continue okay continue as you can see it's it still looks good might actually look better per se I don't know I'm gonna play this game so I'm just, go 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 um, there we go. But as you see, it's kind of got that those bars on the side. Play with one hand here, so it doesn't look terrible. But the only way I, I figured out how to get around it is you got to turn the whole thing off. Let's see, it's going to be cropped, and then if you turn it back on, so I mean. If you're switching back and forth, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Because you're going to just pick one and, and uh, play it. It just kind of sucks that if you want to use the uh, stock um, hardware, that you just have to reset it. So, and it should come back. Hopefully it will. There you go. See, now it's back to its normal aspect ratio and stuff like that. I don't know why it does that. I try resetting. There's a menu options and stuff, and it, sometimes it works. But I found the quickest way is to get it back to normal is to do that. And there's Joe Man Jr. You beat me in that game. That is my game. And that's one of the reasons why I like this cabinet. Um, <clears throat> interface sucks. Company sucks. But uh, the machine is actually quite, quite nice. But I want to show that to you. Uh, I've got a couple more things I want to do with the ROG Ally. i got a couple videos I want to make with that. Found some cool stuff with that. But, um... What do you guys think? Now, I'm, I'm, the next steps is to figure out um, the speakers, how to get sound to all those things. Um, but like I said, if I can patch into that, <clears throat> that headphone jack right there, I think that would work. If they're just regular speakers, you can change that adapter. Because if the HDMI is running into that, the sound is going to be captured. So all four of those sound, so you can just have one universal sound. <clears throat> not really I don't see anything different than running it like I am than running it native so that would eliminate the sound thing next thing would be the deck I don't know if um Glenn's is going to be the only option I'm thinking I know when I built this one um they came you can get them on Amazon the control controllers I don't know if there's something special about the way IRK does it but I know I do have one of those Inatec boards. Now, if you take off this front panel right here, it will fit. 
it fits quite nicely um, it's not perfect but it will fit if you take off this front panel so I'm thinking about taking that off and if that's not there I can swap out this but uh, that's where I'm thinking what do you guys think um, nobody else is really talking about doing anything like this I don't know why um, it's uh, seems taboo or something to talk about modding this until recently but um, I uh, have been having a lot of fun with it um, it uh, brings new life to this thing, obviously. Getting that monitor. That monitor is um, it's, it's bigger. That's what I like about it. I can say it's the best. But uh, it's definitely big enough to uh, play some cool games and stuff like that. But I uh, hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you have any ideas, um, if, if I'm inspiring you to try something before we wait for that deck. I don't think we need to wait for that deck. I think we can uh, we can pull off something pretty quick here. And, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be nice to play play all those other games over here. I'll do it with my remote. And do stuff like that. So, yeah, it just gives it a second. Now, there's another thing I notice is, like, you have... At first, I thought I had to have this powered on just to see it. But it doesn't seem to um, need that anymore. So, I don't know if it's turning on a lamp in here somehow. So, I don't know... If you need this this deck in here to power that lamp, um, that would be something to ask, like Glenn or something. What else is powering that? Because I noticed there is a another plug down in that corner. See that wire right there? I'm wondering what that does. I have no idea. Besides just that, that's the video signal. I just I don't know how this is getting power. If there is power into this board. So I don't know if it grabs power from that or not. But I'm thinking that that little wire down here does something. Not sure. Can I get it? Yeah. See that? This deck down here. But like I said, I'm just passing into that. This wire, I thought, it's a weird way to do it. So, but anyway, hope that, uh, that inspires you. And uh, like I said, I'm Jay Pixel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.